everybody. It's Jess here with Lush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today. I have a fairly large grocery pickup from Kroger. We did that again this week. Um, really busy weekend. I am exhausted. I have a very sore back. So the thought of going to the grocery store was no fun. So I submitted an order last night and David went and picked it up as soon as the kids went to school this morning. I, we spent like a hundred and it was 120 but they were out of some stuff, so that's probably going to take a good $10 off or so. It's about 110 and I do need to go to Walmart because they did not have any strawberries on their website, which is really weird. I don't know if they were out of them or if there was a glitch, but we have to have strawberries, as you know, for Nate. Anyway, we got everything else, um, and it really is a time saver. We have one more free. With Kroger Pickup, you can get three free um, pickup where they don't charge you a service fee. The service fee is like $5, so it's still maybe worth it when we run out of those. But I wish our Walmart did grocery pickup, but only the one across town does, and it's just not very convenient. So Kroger is close by. Anyway, <laughs> here is our Kroger haul. So this week I'm making taco soup. I think we're making breakfast for dinner once. Um, what else? Uh, hot dogs I need to use up. I have hot dogs and um, like chili dogs is what we're going to do. What else? Um, uh, enchiladas and uh, salads one night. So that's like our meals, really quick, easy meals. And David's also trying to do a little bit more low carb, not no carb, but just lower carb. So I got some stuff for him and of course some stuff for the kids. So let me get started and show you what we got. So first of all, we got Lucy some more peppers. She will go through a whole three pack of peppers by herself in a week. So we got an orange, red, and yellow. This table is loaded. I went ahead and just got her two pink lady apples. We have some green ones left, but she really likes these, so I got those for her. A English cucumber. I'm going to use these low-carb wraps to make our enchiladas, and um, I could also make David wraps for lunch. Um, so I got went ahead and got two of them because I wasn't sure one would be enough. I thought this would be nice for the wraps as well and just to have around the fully cooked bacon. It's so convenient. I really like buying this from Sam's, but anyway, I just got a small one from Kroger. Last week they were out of nectarines, and so I've been eating the peaches, but I'm almost out of those. I've been loving nectarines. I was so glad they had them back in stock, so I got a bag of nectarines. I got these for David's lunches, since he wants to do a little more low-carb stuff. So these are the prosciutto-wrapped mozzarella cheese, and then I got a pe pepperoni wrapped mozzarella cheese. Hopefully those are as good as the other brand. When I was out of town this weekend at the hotel, we had breakfast, and it was really good. I had this um, vanilla nut oatmeal, and it was oatmeal, and they put walnuts and bananas on it, and it was so good, so I thought I could recreate it. So I got a little bag of walnuts for that. I thought these would be nice for David's lunch lunch the Jif to go creamy peanut butter cups so I don't have to worry about Nate you guys know Nate is allergic to peanuts so we try to not have them around him so these will be nice because they're already packaged up we were out of cheese it so I got two boxes of the Kroger cheese crackers because both the kids like them and I figured one was probably not enough here is my favorite breakfast and said but oh no okay I'm not gonna eat these they gave me the bacon, egg, and cheese. I need to look on my receipt. Yummy. David can eat these because I guess I'm going to have to go to Walmart for my sausage ones too. I, some people, some of you guys were asking, why don't you like the bacon, egg, and cheese? It's because the bacon is like really soggy and chewy. I don't know. I do not like them. I cannot eat this. I may have clicked on the wrong one. So anyway, the sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm so sad because that's what I was going to have for breakfast today and I'm out of them. Um, but the, these ones I just can't do. So I'm sure somebody will eat them, but it will not be me. Oh, man, I'm sad about that. I got Nate some more of his French toaster sticks. He loves these, and Kroger is one of the only places I can find them. I have 11 onion rings, so I got some of these to try. I haven't tried the Red Robin ones um, in the frozen section, so I got those. We're going to have breakfast for dinner one night, so I got some biscuits. Grands are my favorite. And then I got the kids another Red Bear and Brick Oven Cheese Pizza. They love that. Oreo minis for Nate. The big bags, I wait for it to go on sale, and they were not on sale, so I just got like a little package. This will last him several. I just give him a couple at a time, so this will last a while. But he loves the Oreo minis. 
They did way better this week on bananas. I told them in the description that I wanted some fairly green ones. So those are a lot better. Those are more like how we like them. I got some eggs, some um, Frito corn chips for taco soup, a big bag of romaine lettuce for salads, and that looks really good too. Some celery for David's lunch, and he can dip it in the peanut butter. 2% milk. I got the kids some sour cream and onion Pringles. I got myself a big liter bottle of water, and I have been refilling this throughout the week and getting a fresh one every week, and I've been drinking more water that way. I got some honey because we were out. I bought this last week, and we both we all really liked it. Nate really liked it especially, so I got him some of the deluxe mac and cheese from Kroger. It's like the shells. It's like Velveeta, but it's so much cheaper. We were out of goldfish, so I got another big box of that. Some bread. Okay, I'm going to have to walk around this way. Bread for sandwiches, grilled cheeses, that kind of thing. I got like three pounds of ground beef. It is 3.14 pounds of ground beef, and I will use that throughout the week and then freeze whatever we don't use. I got the kids some crinkle cut french fries. Nate really likes the white cheddar mac and cheese as well, so I got him one of those. I haven't ever tried the Kroger one, but I'm sure it's good. They had their all detergents for $2.99, so I thought we would try this um, lavender one. I thought that might be nice for our sheets and stuff. And then I needed some more of the Clorox toilet wand refills, and I'm going to try this one, which is the Rainforest scent. Here's all my canned goods. I got two of the Old El Paso and gelato sauces. It's our favorite one. I got a can of Hormel Chili No Beans. That is for chili dogs. And then this is our stuff for the taco soup. So a big thing of tomato sauce, a black bean, two pinto beans, and a can of red beans. Sorry for Layla squeaking her squeaker in the floor. And this is some diced tomatoes and green chilies. I also got David a can of lightly salted peanuts. I told you about the bread. I think I've told you guys about everything. So like I said, like $110 or so for all this food. We do need to go get some strawberries. And I guess I need to get myself some of the sausage, egg, and cheese um, hot pockets. But other than that, we did pretty good and it saved me a trip to the store. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys all later. Bye everybody.